Good morning. All right. So yesterday I did a video on these LawView cameras and uh, I wanted to go in a little bit further about the networking changes that you have to make. So these are currently plugged directly in. So these do not need to have an IP set. They will obtain it. Just, they will have an IP address changed and they will be configured by this. Uh, if you have to reset them and the NVR will take care of the rest, pretty straightforward. The ones that you have to plug into a network, say you're going through a large network and you need to come across uh, a couple of switches and they got to come in to the, the NVR via the LAN port. It's a little bit more of a hassle by default. If you reset these, they will not be set. Some of them will and some of them won't. It's kind of weird. They will, uh, may or may not show up as uh, with the uh, DHCP, which means they will obtain an IP address from the uh, router. So there's a tool you got to use, and this will simplify things. I mean, there's one way you can do it. You can use uh, Nmap to hunt down, but if it's not in the same IP range, which does happen, uh, they will by default, these will have... Uh, the 192.168.254. Dot whatever the IP address. There's a lot simpler tool, and I'll have a link to this in the description. What that tool is, and that is the SADP tool. This, you launch it. Actually, I already had it running. You refresh it, and if you notice, oh, all of mine are currently working. But if you have one even if it's in the weird IP range, and we will go with one of these bullets. You will select it there, and over here you'll get options, enable DHCP, whatnot, okay? You will want to enable that option right there, and down here at the bottom, you will need to input the password, and what I'll do is I'll disable DHCP, and the default password, if they're reset, is one, two, three, four, five. Now you will need to change that password. And you will have to do that from the camera itself. And I will show you here in a second. But if you make that change, hit modify, you will get that parameters accepted. If it does not take it or your password's wrong, it'll say, uh, password is uh, you know pretty much rejected so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to reset I'm going to kill my PoE switches so they disappear I want to obtain a new IP address and see apologize about shaky cam I'm doing this with two hands so let's wait for them to boot up and you'll know they're booting up as soon as you plug them in, your PoE switch will come on, and then eventually you will hear, you'll see the infrared lights come on as they're booting up, and you may even hear the clicking of the infrared filter inside, and those are still coming on. I don't know if I grabbed the right ones, but let me do this. Nope, they're still booting up. Now, there is one way you want to set these, and if you're gonna go across the network, I'm gonna recommend this. Leave the cameras in DHCP. You can specify the IP in the address, but it is always better to either with your domain controller or your router to have uh, the IP address uh, set via MAC address. That way you do not have to worry about uh, some other device popping up on your network and taking over the IP address of your camera You will have conflicts like that and that will remove the video. So right now. Nope. I got all eight cameras And they're all coming up Let's you select that one Looks like All right, so that one gave me that error there So you just go through sorry Enable it in DHCP. One, two, three, four, five. Now, to mod. Why did the port range? That's wonderful. Well, I know if you look there, all of them report 8,000, so. Hit modify. HTTP range. 
for some reason all these settings go so this is a nice tool that you can if oh yeah don't have that's correct All right, so now you need to update the password. I will tell you this, this is Windows 10, and you notice down here, if you need to do it, um, if you wanna verify video on the camera before programming it into the camera, you can go down there, search for, search bar, and load up Internet Explorer. The reason being is, is there's an older plugin for these cameras so you can see the video. So, so here's this camera username is always admin and you will always get this this is the problem so it'll ask you to continue click yes and it little it will want you to change the password right there so you hit And this is how you will do it for each camera. And you will input it in twice. All right, then you gotta log in. And that successfully works. And the plugin only works in Internet Explorer. And there we go. That's how you know the camera's working. And you can see the slight delay. And this is where, actually, if you want to, you can come in here and uh, change time. Because a lot of times, by if once you reset these, it'll be set on the year 1970. But that's it. And this is where you can come in and you can actually give your camera a name. Uh, set all that there's here in the configuration you can do your time settings um, by default like say 170 i've already come through most of these all these cameras and updated i synced it with this computer so the time was current and up to date and then i add in uh, time server settings to keep the internal clock on set so pretty straightforward and once that's done like i said just come over to your NVR. Do this menu. Sorry. Put in the code camera. So this is camera nine that I just changed. Wait a minute. What did I change? I changed oh, that's the wrong IP one you input your current password you just changed hit OK So where did I put 161? Oh, that's right. They're in, my IP addresses in here aren't concurrent. So in here, apologize about that. And now that that's set, And there's my camera. Real easy. So hopefully this uh, helps you guys out. And thank you very much for watching. Like I said, the link to the SADP tool will be in is down below in the description. 
Um, and if you can, this worked out for you guys, uh, click like and subscribe. You guys have a great day.